Europe as he visits this country. The Now's Laura Harris is in Washington. And she's looking into the massive preparations underway today for the Pope's visit before he celebrates his first Mass tomorrow. We're basically on the campus of the Catholic University of America. You can hear behind me those musicians playing and practicing for Pope Francis's Mass tomorrow. And then take a look behind me. That altar, we're being told, is eco friendly. Sounds appropriate for a pope who has done so much and spoken so much about climate change. You can see all these moving parts out here getting ready for that mass tomorrow. You can only imagine how many people it takes to get something like this accomplished. These 60 musicians will have plenty of company tomorrow, 250 people making up five choirs to be exact, plus the flowers and countless chairs, all for the man so many are calling. He's a working pope. He's, he's a pope, you know, he's a pope that walks the talk, you know. Right is the coronation. And while the hustle and bustle of the prep is happening just a mile down the road at the Franciscan Monastery, people like Lito Constantino can feel the excitement too. And Friar Jim says he knows exactly why. I think he's got that gift of being able to, um, you feel what he's thinking, what he's thinking that, uh, and he's interested in you. He, who saw Pope Benedict XVI come to D.C., says there is definitely something different about Pope Francis, coming as a messenger of peace and hope for everyone. And what better backdrop than the nation's capital? We're getting so tired of politicians and false faces and stuff like this. Now, you ha now what you see is what you get and in the church. And as you can imagine, security is tight all around the city right now. This is considered one of the largest security operations ever here in Washington, D.C. That mass set to start at 4.15 tomorrow. In Washington, D.C., Laura Harris for the now. As you can imagine, keeping the Pope and his millions of followers safe during his visit here is a massive effort, as she was just saying. National security officials say it's an event on a scale they've never had to deal with before. Hear about the intense preparations coming up a little later in our newscast here. And meanwhile, we have more coverage of the Pope's visit online. Visit KSHB.com.